Going on vacation is like having a mental reset. And sometimes in life, we always need a mental reset. Like, you get to some point in life and it's like, I need a breather. So, for Jeff's birthday, we went to Cancun and we took our breather. This was um, the end of October until November 1st. And, y'all, we had a ball. When I say we had a ball, we had a ball. We needed this. And when we was on vacation, all my friends kept um Inboxing me saying, Yeah, I need to have a baby, da 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 da, bring back a baby from Cancun, blah 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 blah. So I'm looking at them like, What is y'all talking about? Ain't none of that going on right now. But you guys, when I tell you manifestation is real, somebody prayed. When I say somebody prayed, somebody prayed about it. Because baby, when I tell you a baby was made, a baby was made. But y'all, let's get into this video and y'all. Get ready. On December 6, 2022, which is our oldest child birthday, we decided to take a pregnancy test because I missed my period. I also did blood work and for sure we're positive. So come with us to our first doctor appointment on December 27, 2022. So the enemy, there's somebody in this room where God has anointed you to carry something big and great. And the enemy is trying to interrupt what you're doing. And, and it may not be just your, your actual womb, but it may be your spiritual womb. And that's why you're always distracted and finding these moments around putting something back down. If you know me, you know I love shopping. So, yeah, I had to already started shopping. We had got this big old box of onesies for $100. And when I tell you, we got a lot, I mean a lot of onesies. I had got like five packs of each size. And I don't know, I guess Gerber felt that I was going to have a boy. They manifested that for me. And, y'all, it's crazy because I got a boy now. But um, this was so scary to me. On this day at the doctor appointment, I got so aggravated with this lady, y'all, because it's like, at first, it seemed like she didn't know what she was doing, and I started getting agitated with her, but I guess she knew what she was doing, and she, like, at first, she was, like, a little bit confused because she heard something, and then she didn't hear anything, and at that very moment, it's just, like, so many thoughts ran through my head, I was, like, panicking in the inside but I didn't show it and I'm like well where's my baby heartbeat like we see the baby but there's no heartbeat and it went down here from there y'all when I tell y'all I was devastated it was something that I didn't expect I was standing up doing hair and I just felt a gush of blood and y'all when I tell y'all I almost lost my mind I almost lost my mind so here we go on this journey of having a miscarriage. After that, I went through so many different stages of depression. I faced anxiety. I was so stressed out so many days that I just didn't know if I was coming or going. And then I just, I don't know, I lost hope all over again. Once I got a false pregnancy test and I was like why me at this point and he was my only safe space we was on the phone for hours days every day that he go to work from the time that he get there be well before he get there I'll do my whole shift and he did everything to try to keep me happy but I don't know hey y'all I am excited today it is February 22nd and we're on another journey to try to conceive again after the miscarriage this time we're doing ovulation testing and today I did my first test for CD number 9, CD means cycle day. I had to test up until cycle day 18, which is a, a cumulant of, I'm going to say about roughly like 15 tests because your first three days they only tell you to test once and then when you get close to your peaking day, they tell you to test twice. Or maybe three times a day but the app say test twice but i see some people test three times a day 
But once I get all my results together, I'll load my chart and I'll show you guys all at one time how it works and what to buy and how to do it and when to do it. But I got some exciting news too, y'all. I'm excited today. I'm so anxious today. I'm just excited. But let me tell y'all why I'm excited. And I am so anxious. Like, I'm excited and anxious, y'all. I'm going back to the doctor today to do testing to find out what happened during our miscarriage. And beyond the results that we received, I know that God is where I have manifested, I have prayed, and I know that we will conceive this month and we will have a baby by November of 2023. And anybody that is going through a trying time trying to conceive again at the miscarriage or trying or having difficulty conceiving, I pray and send baby does your way. But all in all, I got a message for the streets. Baby Godfrey on the way. Y'all stay tuned for the next clip for an update. Toodles. This is the app that I use, and this is how it looks when you test your ovulation. And I think I'm going to do a whole nother video, but these are the things that I had got off of Amazon. It's linked in my storefront. I put my storefront down at the bottom. But y'all, when I tell y'all, my friends must be felt what I was going through. Like, look at Jackie. Like, what in your spirit told you that? <laughs> My friend Shelby texted me like she was on this journey with me. And you guys, I had tests from all the way from February all the way to July. And you know what? In July, I said, you know, what? I'm going to take a mental break. I'm going to get myself together and I'm going to do a 30 day cleanse. And when I tell you I did a 30 day cleanse, I pray every day at 5 a.m. And in August, I had went back to the doctor and he had done checked my prolactin. I mean, my pro prolactin level. And y'all can hear my testimony in the background crying, y'all. When I tell you guys, God is real. God is real. And when you walk by faith and not by sight, your partner also feel it. When I tell you this man was like on his P's and Q's about it, he was on his journey with me. Also, he carried me through this journey. And it was so hard to face. I was just in denial the whole time but on september 29th we baby dance shot and when i tell you we danced it down we danced it down because on october 14th when i tell y'all god is so real he is so real on my birthday well the day before my birthday is my two day and this is amazing when i say amazing it's amazing y'all hey y'all i'm back with an update it's been a while it's been a long time coming so I tested and I'm positive again. So we're gonna go to the doctor today and get confirmation. I'm gonna do blood work to confirm it besides the at home test. And yeah. And the crazy part is y'all Jeff don't wanna know until the doctor appointment. So I gotta hold this in for a whole three weeks well i'm only holding it in for two weeks because his birthday coming up in two weeks i'm gonna tell him on his birthday because i cannot wait three whole weeks to tell him but y'all come with me to this doctor appointment and i feel terrible when i say terrible yeah i feel so darn terrible like oh my god <sighs> help me but come on y'all let's go to this doctor appointment it's not gonna be too much or whatever case maybe but let's go yeah, I was so excited to go to my doctor appointment. I'm so emotional, y'all. But um, I went the next day to my doctor. I could not wait for Jeff. I could not wait for nobody. I was just in shock. Only I knew. And I was like, oh, my God, this is happening. Like, God is real. And he will carry you through whatever storm you're going through. And he carried me all this way. And when I say I am forever thankful for my child. I'm forever thankful, but, um, yeah, this was a journey. When I say a journey, it was a journey. Like, I did my quest appointment the same day. I went and did my urine test, my blood test. I could not wait. I was so anxious, but, y'all, the devil showed up. And when he showed up, God said, not my child, not this time. I was covered in the blood of Jesus, y'all. When I tell y'all, I kept going. I kept going. I started having cravings. I was just, I don't know. My baby shut up on the screen. It was still early, so no heartbeat. Gave me anxiety. But y'all, I had pranked Jeff, so y'all stay tuned for what happened November 1st, part 2, coming soon. Bye.